So here's a topic that's probably going to get me tarred and feathered, but I think it's really important. So let's look into it. Here's your story, let's begin. The world is fine, come on, dive in. The future's here, it's right before your eyes. I see come up quite often on these Facebook pages, which uh, I subscribe to a number of them about Ecuador. There's a lot of people that live here that are on there every day talking about one thing or another. A lot of people thinking about coming that are on there and they talk about things. Um, one of the questions that for a long time comes up over and over again is, I'm gay, if I come there, how tolerant are people? Or, I'm black. Is there a lot of prejudice if I come there? Are people very tolerant? And the responses, it's between hilarious and really sad because you'll see all the time these responses. Oh, it's the most wonderful place. The people are magical. This is the land of delight and they're never concerned with any kind of prejudice. They're forgiving and uh, progressively humanistic and da 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 as if they weren't the same human beings that inhabit the rest of the countries in the world people in Ecuador on a whole are wonderful people they come from a traditional society that causes there to be a certain level of morals and honesty and that's great on the other hand they're not super beings they're human beings and they're no better or worse in those regards than most places you go now people love to point at the United States for being this really prejudiced biased country and I don't know what country they're from because that's not really my experience. Have I seen prejudice in this? Of course I've seen it. But I saw it heavily in Japan. I saw it heavily in the Philippines. I saw it in Thailand. I saw it in Australia. I saw it in England. I saw it in Germany. I saw it in France. I saw it in Denmark. I saw it in Holland. I saw it in Colombia. I saw it in Mexico. You know, should I go on? It exists everywhere, depending on what it is. Let's talk about Ecuador. Please don't misconstrue. I'm not painting any horrible picture here, but we need to inject some honesty here. Ecuador is like going to high school. You have your cliques, you have the jocks, and you have the goths, and you have the nerds, and five, six, seven different categories that are like private little clubs and if you're not part of that little club then you can be rejected or tolerated. Not necessarily they're going to be mean to you but you just don't really belong. Go find your clique. And that really describes Ecuador. For example, when you talk to people from Loja, local people from Loja, and you discuss Cuenca. One of the things they're going to say is they're uptight, they're backwards, but mostly they're snobs. That's Ecuador talking about Ecuadorians. Now in Cuenca what you're going to see a lot is divisions based on economics. You have the traditional uh, Spanish background wealthy landowner type of thing and here's what we say about them and how do we know them we know them because of the way they dress the way they talk the way they look that's how Ecuadorians view each other and then you have the common people the regular people you have you have those people so you have these two different casts that look each other but it doesn't end there I have, a, I have somebody I know from Colombia that recently I was talking to and she said that it's very difficult here and she's frustrated because 
she, because she's Colombian, everyone thinks she's either a prostitute or a drug dealer. That's kind of the definition of prejudice, isn't it? And she's having to face that. Venezuelans, well, they're only here because their country's falling apart and they're here to take all the jobs. That's a common belief. But let's get a little deeper. What do Quincanos think about people from the coast? Well, they call them monos. Now, what is a mono? It's a monkey. Basically, they call them monkey people. Now, there's arguments within Ecuador of what do they actually mean. Are they saying that because they want to describe them as darker, monkey, kind of, there's a lot of black people on the coast? There's probably some element of that. Maybe the larger element is because they view them as thieves, monkeys that kind of come down and steal your little stuff and run away. Because there are a lot of thieves that come from the coast to Cuenca, particularly on holidays, for pickpocketing and home break-ins and that kind of thing. A lot of the crime that goes on in Cuenca is by people that actually aren't from Cuenca. So they have that. And if they want to be really derogatory, they're going to say, uh, mono de mierda, uh, which is pretty rude and pretty insulting. Now, people on the coast, what do they have to say? Well, they might call him Logano. Or, if they really want to be rude, Logano de Merida. Is it nice? No, it's not nice. So we've got city versus city. Within the city, we have caste versus caste. From region to region, we have region versus region. We have some racial context in there. Is it mean, malicious, hurtful? It probably depends on who you are. That Colombian girl was pretty hurt, enough so that her idea of being here kind of changed to she's going back to Colombia uh, because she just doesn't like the way she's treated here. So it probably depends on your perspective it does tend to be pretty low-key. I'll bet there's people that have lived here for a number of years and aren't even aware of the things I'm talking about because it isn't necessarily blatant and in your face. Another place where things come into play is employment. Whether you're local or you're an outsider, this is an issue because when you go to get that job, if you're not a direct friend, relative, friend of a relative, there's a good chance you're not going to get that job because that's who's going to get the job. And you'll see that time and time again. If you don't have an in, then you're out. I do have to chuckle. I've mentioned this in, other, in another video talking about the language. You'll never have enough Spanish to really be an Ecuadorian. But it's more than that. Just like they see all these other groups they also see gringos and gringos will never be an ecuadorian now you can get your residency you can get your citizenship i'm not saying you'll be treated bad but what i'm saying is in the mind you'll never be really accepted as that because they're always going to see you as a gringo i'm not saying it's bad i'm not saying it's good i'm saying it's a fact so when we talk about Ecuador being the land of angels and prejudice could not exist here. It's just total bunk. It exists, it thrives, it's alive and well, there's names to it, there's actions taken from it, but it's not overt, it's not necessarily malicious. In a lot of cases, they try to turn it to be cute. For example, the monos, well, if you want to describe a coast person, but you don't want to be overtly mean, you'll say, monitos, the little, little, little monos, and they're so cute, or the little ganitos. You know, it's, we throw a little ito on there and it's okay, right? It's like Southerners, when they say something mean, it doesn't matter as long as they follow it with, bless their heart. They're such a cheating, lying scumbag. Bless their heart. 
<laughs> so, so people are people and you're going to have these things everywhere. So if you're coming here, understand that. Will it be a hindrance to you? Not very likely. You, Like I said, people live here for years and don't notice it. It's just there under the surface and it has to do with certain things that you'll run into, certain acceptance, taxis that will bypass you once in a while because you're not who they want to pick up. It's very subtle, but it exists. Now, if you're gay, is it a terrible place to come? I'm assuming not. There's a lot of gay people uh, from the US and Canada that you see on Facebook living here, having a good old time, no problem. Um, I've talked to a couple people that were surprised because they were able to uh, go as a gay couple and rent an apartment without a problem. So, you know, I'm not saying you're going to come here and be hit with a whirlwind. If you're black, you come here, there's not going to be burning crosses, and it, it isn't like that. And that's what deceives so many people. It's a very subtle behind the scenes. Please don't tar and feather me. I'm not making this up. It's true. I'm not saying it's necessarily a bad thing. But when the question comes up, it should have honesty, not fantasy. So, thank you. See you next time. You know you could.